Just had a couple of questions. Uh, someone's asked me what, in my opinion, are the best plants to put in my aquarium. Um, I'm going to make that what's the best starter plant. And I would have to say, for my two favourite plants to get you started, is that one there, which is Anubis. Anubis. Uh, it's a rhizome. Um, it works in low light very good i should put some details up for you um personally i think you should uh, connect it to some wood or stones uh, or anything really you can do that with fishing line um, you can use cable ties anything once it's stuck it's stuck and also you can propagate it which means you can snap it off um halfway down the rhizome and put it somewhere else which is what i've done with that one that is that uh, the next one would have to be Java Fern. Um, I have some in here. Um, it's being eaten at the moment by the shrimp in there, which is what I bought it for. Um, but literally that was one little plant. Now look at it and it's on. Um, I think I've got it on some coconut shell. Uh, it's very good. Again, it's another low light plant um, and it basically sends shoots off into the water. I don't know if you can see this here. This is actually loose of the, the main plant now. And that will basically disappear off into the aquarium and do what it needs to do. Now, I use these plants because they're relatively cheap. And also, they are very good for creatures. You know, I mean, you'll see... There you go, look. Shrimp all over it. Now, this was just literally... The old turtle tank I had that I just filled up with a bit of water um, just to keep the plants alive um, and I also put in the remaining fish because I obviously wanted these guys to have somewhere safe outside of the main tank now all these plants you attach them to something so you don't need special substrates um, they range in temperatures from 23 up to 28, which is basically anything for fish. You can put them anywhere, literally. That's a moss plant, which is Christmas moss. Um, but once you've got these guys going, they're the, there's the miniature version there. Um, but I would say go for something like this. Now, at the moment, as you can see, there is blackbeard algae everywhere. That came... That was basically what happened to the other plant in the in the other aquarium, in the um, sickly tank. But I'm not worried about it. You know, it, I'll treat it when it needs to become a problem. And there you have it. So there's a quickie for you. This is um, Caribbean Sea Eco Complete. You don't need any special. If I did, I could put swords in here, no problem. Amazon swords, and they would live no problem in there. But you don't need them. Just get one of these, you can even put it on a sponge, anything you like, um, and it will just grow, grow, grow. There you go, guys. Special one for you.